All right, everybody. So today we got more stuff. So we're gonna go through what we got today for the TRX hybrid build. So a couple of different things we'll go over. Here's some titanium bolts. So we got some flange bolts. They're really cool, they're drilled out. Nice titanium, get some kind of good pictures there. So we got the front A-arm bolts. I think this will probably be the biggest weight savings just because it's the biggest bolts. Uh, we did the front shock bolts, and they come with uh, lock nuts as well, titanium, which is pretty slick. Uh, these are motor mount bracket bolts, so these will go into here and here, so they'll all match because those ones don't match anymore. And then we have the uh, top engine mount bolts, and then we have the rear shock bolt. So. Lots of bolts, lots of stuff to do. Um, another thing I'm gonna do is we have a scale here, as you can see, which weighs down to the gram. So we're going to uh, weigh each of the bolts and see what the weight savings are. So on the website, they say 40% weight savings, which, you know, that's, that's good. But again, I'm not looking to save that much weight. I thought it was just kind of a cool thing. Titanium doesn't rust, so that's kind of cool. I know like my bottom shock bolts here on the Hauser A-arms, you can see all that nasty stuff. Um, so they, over time, collect water in the Hauser A-arms, so that's not great. But anyways, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna kinda take one bolt off and we're just gonna do some simple math, I think, uh, would probably be the easiest way. So then I don't have to unbolt all the A-arms at once because I don't really wanna take the A-arms off because um, that's a whole nother hassle that I don't really feel like dealing with. So. Anyways, we'll uh, zoom to that as I take some bolts off and uh, we'll go from there, thanks. All right, so what you're gonna need is a uh, 14 millimeter socket and a 14 millimeter wrench. Get the old shock bolt off uh, and we'll compare that to our new handy dandy titanium bolt, which is here. Let's see if we can get these open with one hand. Try and edit that out in post. Oh wow, that's crazy. All right, so let's see what we got here. So, go to units. We're gonna go to grams. We're gonna tear it just so it makes sure it's nice and even. So, standard, it's 58 grams, okay? Titanium, 28 grams. 26, okay, so what's that? So 58, and it's between 28 and 26. So maybe the scale's not the most accurate. That's okay, all right. So, we've got 58 divided by 28. We've got 28 divided by 58, minus one. So that's about a 50% weight savings, right? Is that right? Somebody check my math. So. We've got 58 minus 28, which is 30 gram weight saving. So times, uh, there's eight of those. That's 240 grams. How many grams in an ounce? Any of my drug friends here? I don't know. How many grams in an ounce? 28. How many grams in a pound? 453, okay. And we were at 240. So, I mean about a half a pound just from shock bolts. Okay, so there we go. You say 240 grams, which is 453 divided by 240. Let's see that math. Oh crap, what was that? 453 divided by 240, okay. 453 divided by 240. No, 240 divided, 240 divided by 453. That is 53% of a pound, so about 50%. That's pretty cool. So there we go. There is the A-arm bolt. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna change all those out and we'll uh, be back with the shock bolts. Thanks. 
And we're back. So we got the front A-arm bolts off. So as you can see here, the uh, titanium, so this is the titanium bolt, weighs 28 grams. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our steel and it weighs 56 grams. And so 28 minus 56, it ends up being about a 50% weight savings, which is about a half a pound, uh, which is honestly, it's pretty substantial. So a half a pound for all eight of these, because you know, two bolts per A arm, four A arms, uppers and lowers. So end up saving about half a pound just in bolts. Um, so that's pretty good off the front of the bike, you know, nothing to complain about. Is it worth the price? Probably not, but they also don't rust like we talked about before. Uh, so next up, we're gonna do a shock bolt and uh, we'll flash to that, thanks. Alrighty, one thing I did notice putting this back on, so you can see here, uh, they do change the uh, bolt to a 12 and then the nut is a 14. So something to be aware of if you have tools, Stock is 14 and 14, so save a little bit of weight there. But uh, yeah, over a 50% weight savings for the A-arm bolts. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm interested to see the shocks, so we're gonna change all the A-arms, and then we'll go to shocks next. Thanks. All right, something else I thought of, what we're gonna do, I know we weighed the individual bolts and they were 56 grams to try to even it out and try to make up for any variance in the specifications. They all weigh 220 grams. So that's all eight. Uh, I think. Yep, that's all eight. Uh, so it's fluctuating between 222 and 220, so I guess we'll go with 222. But uh, stay tuned for a, a video of the weight of all the steel ones after they're all off, because they did weigh 58, between 56 and 58, so we'll see what they all weigh together. Thanks. All right, so we just got done doing the A-arms, uh, all of the bolts on there, they're all on the bike, nice and pretty. We have the stock bolts here. These are 458 grams. Uh, in the last video, the titanium were 222. So 458 minus 222 is 236 grams. And uh, if you'll remember, a pound is 453 grams. So you save about a half a pound of weight. Uh, and that is averaged out over all the bolts just to account for any variance. I'm assuming your own weight savings would vary uh, just based on, you know, the, the bolts that you have and the specifications because each bolt can vary and it depends how accurate your scale is too. And I don't know how accurate this one is, but we're weighing same day, same time. So it should be fairly accurate. So there you go. Uh, shocks are up next and uh, we have front and rear shock and then uh, engine. So stay tuned. All right, next up we have the top engine bolt. Uh, I just pulled this out. So this one goes right in here. Uh, right into the CRF motor. This is the 20, 2020 CRF. So here we go. This one weighs 26 grams. We'll take it. It's actually the titanium one is slightly longer. If you can see there a little bit. And this one, if we can get it to quit rolling, weighs uh, 12 grams. So 28 versus 12, 14 grams, about a half an ounce. <laughs> um, so there's two of these, oh, there's 10, so maybe it is 10 grams. So 28 versus 10, so it's 18 grams. So 36 grams, just over an ounce, which would be a 16th of a pound. So little bits here and there, but uh, again, don't rust. They look really cool, they're drilled out. So we're gonna throw this in there. These bolts cost uh, 12.45 each. So just so you know, so it's $24 worth of bolts you can have to save uh, about an ounce uh, each. So uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks. All right, next up is the motor mount bolts. So we have our, these aren't really OEM motor mount bolts, but we're gonna weigh them anyways. So these are for the top. They weigh 18 grams right there. I'm gonna swap it out for two of these. They weigh eight grams. So 10 grams lighter, 10 grams, eight grams lighter. Either way, they're about 50% lighter. Forworks website says 40%, so we're doing really well, actually. Um, so we're gonna throw these in. It's an easy job. It's just these two holes right here. And then we'll do these two holes right here. And then the same on the other side. So yeah, some really good weight savings there as well. Uh, these bolts are uh, 30 bucks. So 
there's four of them, so yeah, you know. Again, it's not cheap, but uh, I think it's kind of a cool bling factor, and why not for your guys' information, so thanks. All right, so what we're gonna do again uh, is we're going to weigh four of the bolts uh, for the uh, titanium. These are the engine mount bolts. Uh, so these four weigh, quit moving, about 20 grams. And then we'll do four of the standard ones. And those weigh 38, so just under 50%. Again, these are kind of a hodgepodge of bolts, so it'll be nice to have uniform bolts again with uh, the motor mount kit. So thanks for tuning in. I think they look pretty trick. Uh, you can see kind of the holes in them. They're all drilled out, which is pretty sick looking. That bolt looks real nice and shiny in there with that CRF, so thanks for watching. All right, we are back again tonight. What we are going to do is uh, do the A-arm bolts and the rear shock bolts. So I think those are the only ones that I have left, looks like. So rear shock bolts, going to go on there. Uh, it's just the top and the bottom bolt there, so we're going to uh, jack this up a little differently, get the jack out, do some of that. And then we have the front shocks, which are a little bit easier, but uh, yeah, so there's uh, top and bottom for each of the, the shocks there with the associated hardware, so looks pretty trick. Um, we'll be doing the weighing again, so we'll weigh each of them and kind of let you know uh, how much weight savings you can expect. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so we got the uh, front shock bolts on the scale. Looking at 88 grams. So that's for all the nuts and the bolts. Uh, it looks like, you know, top and bottom. I'm not really sure which are which, uh, but we will find out when we uh, pull these off. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll weigh the uh, standard bolts and uh, we'll calculate the difference. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we are uh, still working on the front shocks. So something important to note, you cannot use the Four Works front bolt kit on Hauser A-arms. Uh, if you look here, the flange hits on the A-arm itself. And so it won't actually thread in from the looks of it. So if you see, if I turn it, it hits on this little flange and uh, it cannot go in. So uh, we're gonna have to use the stock uh, nuts, not the titanium nuts, which is kind of a bummer. Maybe we can use them somewhere else, but uh, just a little bit of piece of advice. If you do have Hauser A-arms, uh, you can't use the uh, bottom shock bolts, uh, shock nuts. You can use the bolts, not the nuts. So thanks, stay tuned. All right, so a little update. Uh, we did put the stock uh, bottom uh, shock bolt back in. So the issue is the flange here hits on the Hauser, excuse me, Hauser A-arms. Um, gonna reach out to four works and see if they can just give me a non flange nut maybe exchange it or I'll just buy it whatever um, just want it to work but uh, anyway stay tuned on that we'll uh, see what four works says and see if we can get this uh, up and going but for this week's trip uh, ATV uh, takeover is tomorrow in Glamis or Saturday sorry today's Thursday is uh, Saturday in Glamis so uh, just trying to get it prepped and so you know, one little bolt's not going to make or break the weekend. But if we lose any races, I'm going to blame the bolt because it would have been lighter without it. So, um, anyways, uh, quality is super high. Um, every A arm's different, so it's really hard to make a universal one. I'm sure a lot of A arms do work with the flange bolts. Uh, this one, unfortunately, doesn't, but that's okay. Uh, no big deal. So next, we're going to do the rear shock. So uh, stay tuned for that. All right, last ones. 110 grams for the stock rear shock bolts, 108, 110. Stock was uh, 54, so another 50 grams off of that. And uh, again, the front is incomplete. Um, we are just gonna see if Four Works can hook us up with some different nuts and uh, we'll be good to go. But yeah, currently we're good to go for the dunes. So more titanium on here. Our levers didn't come from Motosport yet. Shipping is kind of a nightmare, so we're gonna run our stock levers. 
uh, we did the clutch mod. So you get rid of these wires, but you gotta tuck them in here for now. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll button her back up, throw the uh, wonderful seat back on her, and uh, we'll be good to go for the sand dunes. So uh, stay tuned for some sweet riding videos and uh, some more weight savings. More titanium to come, I think. Uh, it's been pretty fun, just changing bolts. Everything looks real shiny and nice and new. Up in there, see all the drilled out titanium wonderfulness. There and up there, everything just looks crisp and what this bike deserves with the new motor. So really excited about it and uh, follow along as we go to Glamis for the ATV takeover. All right, another interesting tidbit. All of the bolts we have taken off weigh one pound, 11 ounces, 11.4 ounces. So if you figure again, um, you know that we're taking uh, about, that's almost two pounds because 16 ounces in a pound. So really we're saving about 50% of that, which is just about a pound off the bike, which doesn't sound like much. And it's probably not much considering the dollar value, but um, you know, a, a pound just in non-rotating mass is, you know, significant. That's, you know, a, a breakfast burrito on the way to the track. So, uh, just for your information, and, uh, I'm sure if you do more titanium, four works offers a ton of stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, just random bolts too. You can do, you can do like banjo bolts and all kinds of different stuff. So, uh, yeah, I think, uh, so far what we've seen is really good from them. And, uh, I think there's some more weight we can lose on the bike. Maybe we'll do some more titanium. This bike does already have the titanium pivot bolt. You can see in there, uh, the bolt and the nut. And that's probably the biggest savings. That's the biggest bolt on the bike. Um, other ones we could do is like the front engine bolt here. Uh, I think Mettech makes a bolt there. It's like 130 millimeters long, probably be like 50 bucks just for that bolt uh, and then a nut. So uh, maybe we'll do that. And then uh, we'll just kind of keep on going, but we'll keep you posted. and. Uh, Hope you find this interesting and helpful.